Okay, this is my second video for recording in English. No, I've tried many videos before this one because sometimes I say a lot of things and I just feel like it's not right or maybe the things wasn't saying in the right direction. So I will just cut it out and stop and start it over again and again. So I don't know how many times I'm gonna video this one. So anyway. I'm trying I'm trying my best to elaborate everything I want to say in my mind. Maybe I can do this in one go. Okay. So um I want to elaborate something that just came across my mind that a lot of people saying keep saying that you have to pursue something you are passionate about or you are enthusiastic about. Yeah, and so that idea lead me to wonder it is really a good um, notion to let people think that is good behavior for most people who don't have the purpose in their life uh, want to follow their dream especially for those people who don't have dreams and because um, I think what I'm trying to say is um, when you start uh, looking for something, you probably shift your attention or your perspective to something, um, to something you dislike. And the reason why, uh, you probably might argue that how could it possible you, you find something you dislike? Is it possible? No, definitely not possible, right? So in my opinion, I think it's possible because when you, pursue something in your life it means that you probably really want you're really eager to uh, find something eagerly as quickly as possible to find something that you that you love the things you love and 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 uh, for uh, maybe the first thing you think okay the next thing will be better because this is my first time to looking for things I like so for, for so for a second time okay you think that okay maybe just I'm just I'm lucky so I can find the one I like I don't I like so for the third time and for the fourth time and and list goes on and goes on because looking for something we love is not really easy for most people especially we don't have a lot of resource in our hands you know uh, compare comparing to to us to the people who have more resource like money or um, connection yeah so I guess that's the reason and those negative negative feeling will affect will affect your um, your little mind and it might, it might break your feeling and shift your attention to something negative and you will start complaining that why would I why wouldn't I come why would I find something I like that's the that I just want something I like happened in my life is that really impossible yeah uh, those kind of um, those kind of unhappy feeling um, just happened and created by your by your brain so I think it's kind of, it's sort of the negative cycle and we are trapped into this cycle so on the other hand I want to elaborate different idea and that might help me or help other people to find out what I like for example okay now you're looking for something you have to shift this idea into something like i have to dig something for the things i'm doing to uh, for instance i'm doing and then find out what kind of things you might interest in it. okay for, for example now you probably like um you probably like uh, customer service and you really don't like you really don't like receive the 
a call from a customer that complain about a lot of stuff, but on the other hand, you're enjoying uh, speaking English in uh, over the phone with uh, with a customer who always complain, but you really like speak English, right? So, so you probably don't like this job in the whole sentence in in. No, in, in the whole concepts, probably don't like this job, but um, in the detail, uh, and if you look in the micro uh, perspective, you can perceive that, uh, you can assume that the job you like is that you can speak English over the phone and they can make you more competitive over the years and maybe you can jump another uh, positions to you, you might interest in so I think if you're complained about your position right now this is probably the best way for us to um, to to let to stop worrying everything or complain to everything in our job right so I think that's the that's the um, process I'm going through to shift my perspective into something more uh, positive yeah, and yeah, I think that's a really good idea for most people, especially for those uh, who don't have a uh, purpose in their life, like me. For example, I I'm no idea what I'm doing in my job, and and also I don't even know I like this job or not. Probably like seventy percent of dislike this job and 3% complaining about this job. You probably say, you, you would say that you definitely have to quit this job. But in my present positions, I'm not allowed to do that because I don't know what I'm going to do for the next job. So to handle this kind of situation, I have to, um, I have to, op I have to be optimistic, uh, be more, uh, be more passionate to dig the things I like in the present situation. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I start doubting. It's really weird. Why would I say that? Any anyway, I think that's just my humble opinion for myself and maybe for the people who might have tried to watch this video. Probably not. Anyway, yeah. I guess this is the this is that's it for today and thank you okay